YouTube channel so as you may or may not have noticed I have had most of my hair chopped off it was literally like down here um, and I just get it pulled out constantly by Joel so I just wanted to have a little change go for a little bit of a mum bob I'm not really sure if me and the new hair are gelling at the moment we will wait and see I mean I do this sort of every five years or so and then I end up hating it after a few weeks want my long hair back and I don't end up getting it cut again so I just grow it out um, I feel like that will probably be the case again now only because when where I've had it long for so long I forget what my hair is like when it's short so I've got a lot of hair it's very very thick and I see all these pictures of like cute little short bob cuts with like messy beach waves I can't really do that with my hair because it's very thick so I just get these like big bouncy um, curls if I try and style it like that so it never looks like how I want it to look so yeah I get it cut and then I realize this is why I don't have my hair short so anyway it is what it is at the moment it's helping with Joel pulling my hair out all the time so we might keep it for a month or so but I don't think I'm going to get it maintained like this. I've had it cut off now. It's a lot healthier, so we will grow it back. So anyway, you guys have not clicked on this video to listen to my haircut. So we will get into the video. So today, I just thought I would jump on the bandwagon and show you what is in my changing bag for a three to six month baby. So Joel is five months. He was five months yesterday. And this has been pretty much what has been in my changing bag since he was newborn. However, once he hit, I would say about 14, 15 weeks, because he's now 22 weeks, um, I had to start adding some more teethers, some more bibs, because he's dribbling a lot, and some more toys, because he would get bored. Whereas when he was a newborn, I didn't take any toys out of me at all. Um, so it is a little bit different to my newborn changing bag. So I'm sure this will change again after Christmas once he hits six months because we're going to start weaning him. So we will obviously have things for um, like meals and um, bowls and things like that in there to take out with us. Um, but at the moment, this is my three to six month changing bag. So we actually have two changing bags. I'll show you our changing bags first. So this is my changing bag. This is the Katie Loxton. It's a black leather changing bag. And I wanted a changing bag that looked like a handbag. So it would go with all my outfits. And you know, just cause you're a mum, you don't have to become um, mumsy. Is that the word? I don't know. But I wanted my changing bag to go with all of my outfits. So a black leather handbag, you cannot go wrong. Um, this, as I said, it's Katie Loxton changing bag. It's also got the long strap on it, which um, detaches. So you can just, when I'm getting Joel out of the car to walk into a baby group or something, I will just chuck this over my shoulder and it's a lot easier than putting the little straps over my big coat. Um, and this has loads of different sections in it. So it was 90 pounds and it was one of those, you know what, you're pregnant, treat yourself handbags. So that's exactly what I did. Um, so. This is the one that I obviously went for. They do this in, I think they do it in grey and like a beige colour as well. But it's amazing. I love Katie Locks and stuff. It's so nice. Um, so the front has a pocket. So I don't really use this pocket for anything, but it's handy just to chuck some stuff in there. And there's a really cute, cute quote in it saying, you've got this. Um, and then there's also um, a pocket on each side. Again, I don't really use these for anything because I get paranoid about stuff falling out, but that's just my issue. They're very handy to have. Um, so inside we have three compartments so there's like a main compartment in the middle where i keep all of my nappies wipes changing mats etc there's a compartment this side that i keep all of joel's things and there's a compartment this side that i keep all of my things and then there's also two little compartments at the sides um so one says wipes on it and one says bottles um so everything's labeled which i think is really really cute as well love stuff like that um so i will show you what is inside so in the bottle section, I don't tend to keep bottles in here because if we're going out, I will prep the um, water for the bottle on the prep machine, fill up a bottle full of that water. Um, so we use the man bottles because I found them to be the absolute best um, for our baby. So I will fill this with however many mil that he has for that feed on the prep machine and then put it in one of these insulated bottle bags um, that I just chuck in here anywhere they're quite big so they're a bit of a pain 
but it just keeps the bottle warm till he's due a feed. And then I also take with me, whenever I'm going out, I do this just in case, because he's pretty predictable with his feeds now, but in case there's an absolute emergency and he decides he's hungry, I always have a pot of formula in my bag. So I don't just keep this in there all the time. This gets used pretty much every time we're out for more than a couple of hours, which is a few times a week. Um, so the formula doesn't just sit in there for ages, um, but I always keep one of these in my bag. These formula pots are so handy. You just pull the middle up. There's a little hole so you can, um, you take the cap off on the other side and then it just tips into the bottle without going everywhere because it just goes through that little bit. Um, you can pick these up for a couple of pounds online. I think these came with a Tommy Tippy set that we bought when he was newborn, but then obviously we switched to the man bottles instead. Um, but I still use these because they're so handy. So yeah, I always have a pot of formula in my bag and a bottle in the insulated bag. So then I always have a dummy on me because that is an essential when we're out. I don't have any dummy cases. So his newborn dummy, dummies had like a little clip like cover on them. These personalised ones that I bought for him that are three months plus, they don't have a cover with them. So I need to buy a dummy case. At the moment, I've just got them in these little like, plastic bags um, that are fine, just for hygiene really. So this, I just always have a dummy in there on a dummy clip because then when he's in the pram, because we just moved him to the seat unit, so it's gonna be easier for him to like throw things out of the pram. He's getting to that age now. Um, so I can just clip this onto him and not worry about losing it. Um, because if you lose your dummy when you're out and about, that would be an absolute disaster. So in Joel's section, we have, I always have two muslins on me. He's a very sicky baby and you can never have too many muslins. So I have two muslins in there at all times. So I change these over a couple of times a week as and when they get dirty. Um, I've also got two bibs. Terrible at remembering to put a bib on when we start fees, but yeah, they're always handy to have. So I've just got two bibs. I think these were in a little set from Primark. I then have a comforter. So I always have a comforter with me because when he's napping now, since he was about 14, 15 weeks old, he likes to have a comforter for a nap, which is great because it means that I can leave him and he'll settle down with a dummy and a comforter um, and he can soothe himself because he kind of puts this over his face and stuff. I don't leave this in the cot with him at night, but he just has it for daytime naps. Um, now that he's old enough to move it away from his face. I wouldn't have given this to him when he was newborn. But yeah, we always have that with us if he wants to take a nap in the car or the pram. We have, so this is where it's changed a bit since he was newborn. Um, we have teething toys because he wants to chew on stuff constantly. And I would say it's been like this since he was about 12 weeks, but it's been getting worse and worse. So Sophie the giraffe, she comes everywhere with us. This is an essential for babies. It's such a great teething toy. Um, he can chew on all the little legs. It's quite easy to get in his mouth. He chews on the ears and the nose quite a lot as well. And it also squeaks. Um, so it's a good little toy to distract them with. So Sophie comes everywhere with us. We also have his newbie shark. So um, this was actually a present from a friend and it's got the ridged bottom, which he likes running along his gums because I think his gums are really hurting him at the moment. And again, this is really small um, and easy for him to get in his mouth. I find um, we've got a couple of teething rings, but he doesn't find those as easy to get into his mouth and he gets frustrated. So if your baby is teething, little um, toys with like little bits on like this are the best um, teething toys. So then I also have this teething bangle in there. So this is for me to wear. I actually got sent this by a company on Instagram called Little Rosebuds Gifts. And they sent me a set with this and a gorgeous wooden um, like teething ring with some like rubbery animal bits on. It's so cute. Um, but I wear this when I'm out and about. If I'm holding him, he likes to, um, like if I've got my arm around him like that, he will try and bite my arm. Um, so if I've got this on, it's just really soothing on his gums. So these teething wrangles are a great idea. So I always keep one of those in my changing bag. And then we just have a another Sophie toy. This is a Sophie giraffe rattle. Um, so again, these bits are good for um, biting on if they're teething, but it's also a great toy for entertaining him. So if he's in the pram and he's getting restless or bored when we're shopping, I will give him this and he will just entertain himself with this. And then the last sort of toy type thing, I we got given this buggy book when he was a newborn um, and he, we've just been able to, um, he's just at an age now where he's starting to 
look at things like this. So this is really handy. He's got the bigger version of this in his nursery that we read to him with the flaps that come out. But this is great um, if you're out and about. These little buggy books just clip onto the pram and then baby could just look at the pictures or amuse themselves with that. And then lastly in Joel's little section, we have got a pair of mittens. These were, these were um, in a set of two. They were from Primark and they were a pound. Um, and obviously where the weather's really cold now, it's good um, if I just always have these in my bag because he does get very cold hands. So with regards to a change of clothes, if we are going out for longer than a couple of hours, I will put a change of clothes in here as well. But I don't just keep one in there because then I'll forget that he's got that outfit and he probably won't ever wear it. So if we are going out for a long period of time, I would put a change of clothes in there. I've been very lucky with him, touch wood. Um, he's never had a poo explosion, even when he was breastfed and it was you know, worse than it is now. He's never had a poo explosion. I'm sure it will happen once we start weaning him because I've heard that once they're having food, it can be quite bad. Um, so obviously at that point, even if we're just out for a couple of hours, I will probably put a change of clothes in there. And obviously, because he's eating food, he'll get messy anyway. But at the moment, I just find that if we're out for a couple of hours, I won't usually need a change of clothes. Um, I'm probably gonna regret saying that after doing this video. Um, but, I don't normally have one in there unless we're out for a long period of time. Next is the little like nappy slash changing section. So this changing mat came with the bag. Um, so I love it. It's just a little fold out changing mat. Um, so if we go into the baby change in the toilets, I always lay this down on top of the baby changer just because, you know, like hygiene reasons and stuff. So it's so handy that this um, bag came with a little changing mat. Um, we also have a pack of nappy sacks we have we're using the Aldi Mamiya um, water wipes and then my nappies are all in this really cute pouch again this was from Katie Loxton so the same company as I got the bag from um, I think my mum got me this I'm not 100% sure but these are 15 pounds and they've got all different um, quotes on them you can even get them personalized with your name so I might get I might send this off to Katie Loxon to get my initials or his initials put down there. Um, but this is just a little pouch that says mama on it. Um, and this is where I keep all of my nappies. So at the moment I need to top this up because I've only got two in there. We use the um, Audi Mami and nappies in case anyone's wondering. And we are actually switching over to the premium because we find them a little bit better than the normal ones. And then I just have a tiny pot of um, Sudocreme just in case, he, I mean, he, he's not, really an like an allergic baby he never really reacts or goes red or is very sensitive um but it's in there just in case i need it and then the last section is my section i won't show you everything in here because you you're probably not bothered about my section but i've just got things like my purse um i've got like a little pouch with all of my like medication in i'm not on any medication but it's just got you know like painkillers and things like that in I've got a mask, I've got some hand sanitizer, obviously it's um, an essential at the moment. Um, my phone, just little bits and bobs really, my keys, um, it's not very exciting. I used to, um, before I was a mum, I used to take my makeup bag everywhere with me. Don't know why, just did, especially to work if I wanted to like touch up my makeup at lunchtime. But gone are those days, I do not take my makeup out with me anymore, um, just because I don't really have room in the changing bag. Um, so yeah, that is everything that is in my three to six month changing bag. And I will actually just quickly show you the second changing bag that we have, um, just in case you are looking for changing bag ideas um, and you don't have um, like a massive budget. We also got this second changing bag. So this is Steve's changing bag. He wanted his own because he does take Joel out for the day sometimes, um, just so I can clean the house and stuff. So this is the... It says La Queen on it, it's not really a brand. He got this on Amazon. I think they were selling them on like Welcher as well. And this was 15 pounds, I wanna say. Um, and it's brilliant. So we use this for um, baby's hospital bag because it just keeps going and going. So if we are out for um, like, say we were on a family outing for the whole day, um, we would probably take this bag instead just because it's a bit more practical. When we take Joel swimming, we use this bag or if he stays overnight somewhere like at my mum's, we will use this bag just because it, it just fits way more in. Um, it's completely open inside, so it's better if you're um, for like packing clothes in and stuff, but it's got so many different compartments and sections in there. And then at the front, it's also got um, side compartments. And then at the front, 
it's got an insulated um, bottle bag, which is what we love. So these compartments in here are all insulated and I think it's got the, um, it's got like a USB charger with it. So if you plug um, something into here, I think Steve's done it, I've never used it, but if you plug um, the USB into here, it will heat your bottles for you on the go, which is what we really liked about it. So if you don't have a massive budget for a changing bag, this is so practical and so handy. And obviously it's a rucksack style as well, so it's quite comfortable. There's also another pocket at the back. It's just got tons and tons of storage and it looks really nice as well. Um, so yeah, that is our second changing bag that we have, um, which is like our more practical one. So thank you so much for watching guys. I'm sorry I haven't done a sit down video for a couple of weeks. I've been vlogging instead. So hopefully you are enjoying those. I've got another vlog being uploaded. Um, probably at the end of this weekend. So definitely hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already and hit the bell button so you get notified when I upload a new video. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.